What's up guys, Star Wars Only here, and I'm going to tell you my experience at Star Wars Celebration. I went there from the days of April 13th through the 17th, I believe was the dates, and eh. So, I'm not going to sit here and like try to complain about the whole thing. It actually was fun, and I did have some good moments, but there were a lot of problems with the convention that I thought, and I went in there expecting something totally different than what I than what happened, basically. I went in there and I literally expected it to be Comic-Con for Star Wars fans, like the San Diego Comic-Con, but for Star Wars fans. And I was sadly mistaken. There was not that much to do in terms of things like Comic-Con. You know how Comic-Con, you can go there and you can walk around for a solid day, maybe even two, and still not see everything, or even on the second day, you see everything. I expected that to be the case with this. I would go there, there'd be a lot of cool things to go out and do and see and enjoy. And I simply just didn't get to do all that. When I got there, I walked around for about an hour or two, and I was done with everything that I needed to see, and that was a little disheartening. But that was just the showroom floor, that was just stuff to walk around and do. That's not even the panels. The panels, on the other hand, were disappointing for me because some of them were fun to go to and fun to watch, but I didn't get to go to a lot of them. Why? Well, because there was lines out the wazoo. We got there Wednesday. Well, Wednesday night you were supposed to stay the night if you wanted to get into the 40th panel. Or you had to get there at like 5 in the morning when tickets, you know, they gave out the wristbands. And you had to do the same thing for The Last Jedi the day after. Stay Thursday night and then see it Friday night at the panel. And even then some people didn't get in, even if they stayed the night. Even some of the VIP people did not get in. I should have used a media badge and that's my own fault. I had no idea that those got special treatment. I had no idea those weren't even a thing. So, next time in 2019, I most likely will either do the VIP badge to get everything, you know, exclusive, or do the media badge and get in a little early and get better seating. But, overall, I was somewhat disappointed with my trip. What I did like, though, is that I met a lot of cool people. I met a lot of cool people from Instagram that I have known over the years, um, and, and they were all very nice. I, I loved meeting all you guys. If any of you guys are watching this, Mark, Ethan, Nick, True, my boy Clint, I've met you plenty of times, but... Meeting all these people was really nice, and they were fellow Instagrammers and fellow Star Wars fans, and I love that. I love meeting these people because I love meeting the fan base, and a lot of you fans are really cool. However, of course, wherever you go, you know, I was in Florida, so there are always weird people in Florida, and there are some weird people that are Star Wars fans that I met in Florida, and I'm going to be honest, some of you people are really fucking weird. I mean, some of these people told me their life stories on how, like, they didn't see their dad in 25 years, and... This is emotional attachment for them. I'm like, okay, I get that. A little weird, but okay. Uh, you know, a lot of these people were honestly assholes. I, I'm from Texas, and I'll be real honest with you. Even in the ghettoest neighborhoods we have, you know, I went to somewhat of a ghetto high school. We were all still nice to each other. And, you know, always say, excuse me, all my bad, you know, sorry. Always just somewhat nice. Even when we're assholes, we're nice. A lot of these people were complete assholes. Like, I would say, excuse me, and they're like, where are you from? I'm like, Texas. They're like, oh, wow, okay, well... No, no one really says excuse me and shit. Simple stuff like that that really got on my nerves that a lot of people were just kind of straight up assholes. But that, that's not a Star Wars problem. That's just, you know, people from different cultures and different states and parts of the country. And that's just how that works. But that was still kind of baffling for me. It's a new experience. So the fans were cool. Some of them were weird, of course, but that's with any fan base. And the lines were chaotic. And that, I mean, that was literally it. There's just things I didn't like about it. A lot of the fans that did go there that have been to previous uh, celebrations have told me that this is the worst ran one, and that's because they changed staff management or some no event management, something like that. The the event runners, the people who ran the event, were new and they weren't doing as good of a job as the last people, and that makes sense. People told me from Anaheim and London that with those, especially in London, you literally would just walk in, you'd get your wristbands for the panel, and you'd go see the panel, no wait times, nothing, but. At this one in Orlando is completely different. A lot of people online have been saying that it's been really, it was really bad and everything, and and so it was just it was the panels and the lines and everything that really was disappointing. And I really thought I would be able to walk around for a day or two and look and see all the cool stuff about Star Wars and all these cool fans and all that stuff, but I didn't. The costumes were amazing. The cosplay that people put off were great. I love it. It, it was really cool seeing some of these people. And their uniqueness and their thought process on building these epic costumes that they get to bring and show off. It was really cool to see that stuff, and I really did like that. Would I recommend doing it? Yes, actually. If you're a huge Star Wars fan, and probably bigger than I am, and I thought I was pretty big. But some of these people take it to another level. If you're huge into the Star Wars stuff, go do it. I do say avoid uh, some of the 501st people, because 
I met a lot of those guys, and they were a lot of them were assholes and like kind of you know stuck up. Like a bunch of them. Of course, no one really knew who I was except for my close little circle, and a lot of them were like. Well, you know, I'm in, I'm like the lieutenant of the the squad in you know Arkansas or something like that. I'm like I don't care, and they're like you know I'm a pretty big Star Wars fan, bigger than you. No offense, and I'm like I don't fucking care. I get paid to do Star Wars shit. Fuck you. Like it's simple stuff like that that kind of got my nerves. But like I said, that's like a diamond dozen. Like you really don't you, you really don't find that kind of stuff going on too much at the conventions, which I like. So, I would recommend going to do this, uh, hopefully next time in 2019 it'll be better ran. I do plan on going to that just to get my feet a little wet and do it more. Just maybe do it once or twice, or three times at least, because it's my first one. The first one was just horrible. I eventually just went to Orlando, I'm not Orlando, Universal Studios. I had a great time there. If you've never been there, I highly suggest going. I go to Disney World all the time. Love it there, but Universal Studios is amazing as well, and I really enjoyed doing that. So, I just... Overall, I, I didn't enjoy it too much, but I had a decent time. Uh, I just think it was ran a little bad, but I did have a somewhat decent time meeting some friends and meeting a lot of the cool Star Wars fans that I did like, as well as meeting some of the weird ones that I didn't like, but they were still interesting and have good stories to tell. So, did you go to Celebration? Did you like it? Did you like all the stuff that came out of Celebration? What are your recommendations for me to do on the next Celebration in 2019? Because... This one just honestly wasn't that good for me, but it was my first time, so maybe next time will be even better. So, comment your thoughts below. Help me out with that, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Star Wars Only. I will see you all next time. May the Force be with you, always.